Side Order has a lot of unlockables, and some of these are badges which you can use on your splash tag in multiplayer. You might have already gotten a few of these already, but there are honestly a ton of different ones to collect. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to unlock every single Side Order badge that you can get. Let's start off with some of the more obvious ones that you'll get right away. We first of all have the Pearl and Marina badges which you get for clearing the initial spire. So the majority of players will probably already have this one. These are really easy to get your hands on, so no worries there, there's nothing too difficult to do to get them, just make a little bit of progress. Next we have one for completing side order. So once you've completed the main story mode and defeated the final boss for the first time, you will unlock this badge right away to use. Again, this one isn't too tricky honestly, it just requires you to complete side order for the first time, something that a majority of players are going to do anyways, so you'll probably see this one come up without really trying too hard honestly. However, here's where the badges start to get a little bit more difficult to obtain. Next, we have the Pearl Bot badge, which you get for clearing the Spire of Order with every pallet. So yeah, this one is definitely going to require a lot more effort than others. Now I do understand that some people have already done this completely, but yeah, if you want to get this, you will have to put in a little bit more effort than just making it through the tower once. Definitely worth it though, because Pearl Bot is honestly the MVP of Side Order, everyone loves her. Next, we have a badge for Cypher, which you'll get for buying everything from Cypher Scythings. This one is going to take players a long time to get. I'd be surprised if very many people at all have done this yet, as there are so many items you can unlock for a lot of pearls. So you'll have to do a fair amount of grinding if you want to get yourself this badge. But it's definitely a pretty unique one in the game, so I'd highly recommend going for it if you want to. Now, one of the hardest unlocks to get from Side Order is this badge, which you get for clearing the Spire of Order with the Low Hacks 8 palette. So yeah, this one is definitely going to be the most difficult badge to get of all of them. Maybe except the Cypher one, which is not really difficult, it's just more time consuming. But yeah, this is the ultimate badge that you can look out for. There are also a ton of different badges based on the palettes as you can see here, which you'll get for collecting data for all color chips of the same tone. So as you can see, there are absolutely a ton of these to get. So if you like any particular palettes in general, you can add them to your splash tag, which is pretty cool. And yeah, there's just a lot of these to go for, so it makes it worth it to try and get all of those different palettes. Since Incopolis was added with this, there are also badges for all of the shopkeepers as well, which are just the standard badges you get for spending 100k and then 1 million as well. So nothing too crazy there, but others that I thought you'd want to know about since they are technically related to side order. There are of course weapon badges for getting 4 and 5 stars for every order replica weapon as well, so that is something else you can do too. I want to give a huge thanks to Lean Yoshi for creating the original guide on how to get all of these different badges and providing the images too. Let me know what badges you're going for down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more videos.